what you know what and you know, I don't want to spoil for them, but you know, the, the thing that kind of causes all, all the you know, all the villains that they're gonna super gonna be facing and so on. Uh, what was the decision to go with that format as opposed to maybe like a general big bad so they're sending out like mini, uh -huh. small minis at the time? Well, th there is a big bad. There's, you've seen the pilot, yeah, yeah. you know, and um, and and the big bad is in control of a certain portion of the full yeah. Sorry, I'm um, the, the, the big bad is in control of a certain portion of the Fort Ross escapees, but you know, in addition to those aliens, there'll also be normal human type villains like Lex Luthor types, you know, who will, um, you know, who don't have any superpowers, and then there'll also be like human beings who have like incredible tech. So you know, the villains will be coming from all sorts of different areas, not just the aliens who escape from Fort Ross, as opposed to the meta-human. So with the big bad being actually her aunt. I no, if you saw the pilot, <laughs> could you talk a little bit about the um, like how she's going to handle the conflict between um, basically having someone from her own planet there and someone who is her family? Yeah, I mean, for us, it's always you know, you know, the, those conflicts. The more they're personal, you know, the, the better they are. And you know, for us, uh, you know, just like on Flash, like you know, you know, Harrison Wells was in a way he's, he's like a father to Barry. So the fact that he was also the villain just made it that much more uh, that much more exciting. Um, and uh, you know, for, for Kara, what, what's really interesting about Kara, um, which is you know in opposition to Superman, Superman doesn't remember Krypton. He wasn't, you know, he, he was born there, but he came here as a baby. And as far as he's concerned, I mean, aside from the fact that he's an alien, he really is Kansas. And you know, Kara remembers growing up in this world. She remembers her aunt. She remembers her parents. She remembers her family. So for her, it's not this sort of abstract thing like, like, like Kal El meeting Zod, where it's like we're from the same world, but it doesn't really mean anything. For Kara, these are people that she knew growing up. Um, and uh, you know, for us, we think that makes it, uh, you know, it makes her a much uh, very different from Superman. And I think it's going to make for uh, you know, some incredible drama. Let me just say, how does? I mean, so how does being on CBS affect the show versus being on the CW? Uh, so far, it really hasn't. I mean, we've just been doing our process, and CBS has been great partners to us and, and helping us, you know, bring our vision of the character to life. Um, you know, I, I mean, I know behind the scenes there are probably some financial considerations that I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure we could pull this show off on CW, although we've gotten pretty good at doing a lot with uh, very little. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's still the same. I mean, I, you know, I, I think, um, you know, I think the big difference is going to be that, like, you know, when I'm watching football on Sundays, I'm going to see commercials for Supergirl, uh, you know, which is, which, which is very exciting. And we've seen some of the marketing that, that CBS has come up with, and it's, it's just, it's just mind-blowing and breathtaking. Well, it's many in film, um, worlds of DC comics separate, uh, some of the other DC ones you're working on are connected. Um, might we see this another network and a connection between them or, or do another character you can bring in that might double on shows they have like different actors playing, playing a character? Um, you know, for right now, I don't think that, that you know, the, 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 the um, uh, Arrow Flash Legends universe is going to cross with Supergirl, but just like how on those shows we bring in other DC characters and other DC heroes we have plans to do the same thing on Supergirl. So, you know, it, it won't, Supergirl won't feel like, oh, just Supergirl. There's going to be some great, iconic DC Comics characters coming onto that show, and some of them not even associated necessarily so associated with Superman. So, you know, it, it'll be a DC comic show. Last question, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> we noticed that we've got some cast members who are very musically inclined that are known for music. We do. Are, we going to in, are you going to plan to integrate any city into Supergirl at all? I mean, I feel like we pulled it off nicely on Flash yeah, by having uh, <laughs> having Grant and Danielle um, yeah. doing the karaoke. You know, I, I mean, I'm such a huge fan of Buffy, and I, once more, the feeling is, is just you know a magical hour and a half of television. And I, I the thought of trying to emulate that just seems uh, I don't know. But you know, hope it brings eternal. I mean, maybe we'll all just go on a road show and, and do a movie musical because like. Between that cast and, and Grant and you know and um, uh, everybody across all the shows, it's, it's sort of um, you know now we have Victor Garber and, and uh, Sierra Renee. We, we really we could do uh, you know we could stage Les Mis with our with our, with our cross cast. <laughs> Thanks everyone.